star bomb attack on United Nations headquarters in Iraq kills 22 people. A planned suicide attack on a bus in Jerusalem kills 27 people. 104 degree heat wave kills nearly 5,000 people who perished from dehydration. On the same day, an internet worm has infected more than 2 million computers within 24 hours. How did this begin? An email is received at a local internet center. It looks like a normal email. It has an attachment to it. He opens it. There's nothing in it. He closes and moves on to the next one. But the program copies itself to the Windows system directory using the name wingman32.exe. After this, a new value pointing to this file is added to the registry as. The worm will be started at every time Windows starts. This was the first version of the Sobeek virus that was found. It is Sobeek.a. Sobeek contains a routine that downloads a text file from a website. The content of the file is used as a URL to download hundreds of programs and run it on the infected machine. Email addresses are collected from files with various extensions. The sender address is fixed. It is always big at boss.com. Subjects are randomly chosen from these four. The message body says attached file. The message contains an executable attachment. The attachment name can be any one of these. The infected emails are sent using the worm's own STMP engine that is independent from the user's email settings. Sobig lists all the network shares available to the infected computer and tries to copy itself to either of these directories. If the worm is copied here, Windows will run it next time the user logs in. This way, the system gets infected. But this wasn't enough. Something much more stronger was needed. So B dot B. This has even more subject lines and attached file names. Its registry values are changed so that it won't be detectable as the previous version. This was stopped as well. It was given a category 2 threat by F-Secure. So big dot C. It changed the subject lines and attached file names. Its registry values were changed. It fixed the timing bug the previous version had. It affected 84 countries but it was nothing to worry as it was just a mass remailer. Security vendors have updated their signature files to stop so big dot C from spreading. A couple weeks later so big D came out. It followed the same protocols. This changed from a category 2 threat to a category 3 threat. So big E, the same as before but it started to get spread around in a lot of countries and in a bigger amount. But this wasn't the strange thing. It stopped working after the 14th of July. Bastille Day, the day on which everyone in France gets to enjoy to their fullest. It is the day on which the French prisoners and peasants stormed the palace and they fought the king's men. It is marked as the start of the French Revolution. Everyone is celebrating and having the time of their lives. But what they didn't know is that another revolution is coming their way. Message Lab said it had intercepted more than a million copies of Sobing F in 24 hours. AOL said it had stopped more than 23 million copies of the virus in a week. Millions of home users and businesses have been hit by the virus. The same routine of changes were done to Sobing F. Now it has its own TE lock, so it can only be around 70 KB to easily spread around. But the most dangerous addition was the worm now has updating capabilities. 
it can update itself to bypass any type of security. Security experts said the virus seemed to be created by spammers to recruit innocent machines to act as untraceable relays for their unwanted messages. For the first time, there has been a clear motive for a widespread virus that is affecting everyone. Money. So big becomes the fastest growing virus in the history of mankind. One in every 23 emails contains the virus. Airlines are slowed, many major corporations are shut down. It becomes the center of attention around the world. It can't be slowed easily because the virus carries its own email sending program and does not use output. Damage caused by the mass mailing virus has become so great that major companies have been forced to issue a warning to customers that their mail could be delayed. Everyone's email accounts were clogged with several copies of the virus and blocked everything. One unfortunate home user was hit with 6,000 copies of the virus in his private account. They find out that the So Big series originated from the US and is believed to have been developed by spammers in a bid to gain access to machines not listed on increasingly effective anti-spam blacklists, particularly the Spam Prevention Early Warning System also known as SPUS. By blacklisting wide ranges of internet protocol addresses, SPUS has forced internet service providers in Europe and America to clean up their networks of spammers, forcing them overseas to places such as China and Argentina. One in every 17 emails is infected with the virus. The antivirus companies developed many softwares to block the virus from entering, but it is not nearly powerful to stop everything immediately. It will be a slow process. It could be weeks, months or even years. But suddenly, the virus has stopped spreading. It had an inbuilt feature that stops it from sending emails after September 10th. From this date onwards, the worm will exit immediately when executed. Everyone expected another variant to come out, but it never did. Everything goes back to normal. Days pass, weeks pass, months pass. Everyone has already forgotten about it. The total damage is estimated to be around $37.1 billion. On November 5th, the same year, Microsoft announced that they will pay $250,000 for information leading to the arrest of the creator of the Sobeek Boom. Till date, the perpetrator has not been caught.